The current state of cryptocurrency. Is it a good time to invest? Hey there, welcome to our video on the current state of cryptocurrency. Today, we're going to explore whether or not it's a good time to invest in cryptocurrencies. As you may know, cryptocurrencies have been around for over a decade now, but it wasn't until recently that they gained mainstream attention. The rise of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum has created a lot of hype and controversy. Some people believe that cryptocurrencies are the future of money, while others are skeptical about their long-term value. So the question remains, is now the time to invest in cryptocurrencies? Let's find out. What are cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for security. They operate on a decentralized system, meaning that there is no central authority or government controlling them. The most well-known and widely used cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, but there are thousands of other cryptocurrencies available in the market, each with its own unique features, benefits, and drawbacks. History of Cryptocurrencies To better understand the current state of cryptocurrencies, we first need to look back at their history. Cryptocurrencies were first introduced in 2009 when the enigmatic Satoshi Nakamoto released the first ever cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. At the time, cryptocurrencies were considered a novelty, and few people took them seriously. However, as the years went by, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies gained popularity and attracted more investors. In 2017, cryptocurrencies reached an all-time high, with Bitcoin reaching nearly $20,000 per coin. At the time, it seemed like everyone was talking about cryptocurrencies, and many investors made a fortune. However, the bubble soon burst, and the value of cryptocurrencies plummeted. Since then, the market has been volatile, with cryptocurrencies experiencing both highs and lows. Current State of Cryptocurrencies So where are we now? The cryptocurrency market has been on a roller coaster ride over the past few years. In early 2021, cryptocurrencies reached a new all-time high, with Bitcoin surpassing $60,000 per coin. However, the market has since experienced a significant drop, with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies losing a significant amount of their value. Despite the recent dip, many experts believe that cryptocurrencies still have a lot of potential for growth. With the rise of decentralized finance, or DeFi, and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, cryptocurrencies are becoming more mainstream than ever. In addition, more and more companies are starting to accept cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. For example, PayPal, Tesla, and Visa have all recently announced plans to accept cryptocurrencies. Market Trends One of the most notable trends in the cryptocurrency market has been the significant growth in market capitalization. As of January 2022, the market capitalization of all cryptocurrencies combined is approximately $2.5 trillion, up from just $17.7 .7 billion in 2016. Another trend is the increasing adoption of cryptocurrencies by mainstream institutions, such as payment processors, banks, and even governments. However, the market has also been characterized by significant volatility, with prices of cryptocurrencies often experiencing sudden and drastic fluctuations. In addition, the market has experienced some significant crashes, such as the one in 2018, which saw the overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies fall by over 80%. Regulatory Challenges One of the biggest challenges facing the cryptocurrency market is regulatory uncertainty. Many governments and regulatory bodies around the world are still grappling with how to regulate cryptocurrencies, which has resulted in a patchwork of regulations that vary widely by country and even by state or province within countries. This regulatory uncertainty has led to a number of challenges for investors and businesses operating in the cryptocurrency market. For example, some countries have banned the use of cryptocurrencies altogether, while others have imposed strict regulations that make it difficult for businesses to operate in the market. Opportunities for Investment Despite the challenges and uncertainties facing the cryptocurrency market, there are still many opportunities for investment. Cryptocurrencies have the potential for significant growth, and many experts believe that the market is still in its early stages. In addition, the increasing adoption of cryptocurrencies by mainstream institutions means that there is a growing demand for these currencies. However, investing in cryptocurrencies is not without risk. The market is highly volatile, and there is a significant risk of losing your entire investment. It's important to approach investing in cryptocurrencies with caution and a long-term strategy. Is it a good time to invest? 
Now, the question on everyone's mind is whether or not it's a good time to invest in cryptocurrencies. As with any investment, there is no one-size-fits-all answer. The decision to invest in cryptocurrencies depends on your personal financial goals and risk tolerance. If you're looking to invest in cryptocurrencies, it's important to understand the risks involved. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, and their value can fluctuate rapidly. In addition, cryptocurrencies are still relatively new, and their long-term value is uncertain. It's important to do your research and understand the risks before investing in cryptocurrencies. That being said, many experts believe that cryptocurrencies have a lot of potential for growth. With the rise of DeFi and NFTs, cryptocurrencies are becoming more mainstream than ever. In addition, more and more companies are starting to accept cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. These factors suggest that the cryptocurrency market will continue to grow in the coming years. So if you're looking to invest in cryptocurrencies, now might be a good time to get in. However, it's important to be cautious and only invest what you can afford to lose. The cryptocurrency market is highly volatile, and it's important to have a long-term investment strategy. The current state of cryptocurrencies is a mixed bag. While the market has experienced significant ups and downs, cryptocurrencies are still gaining popularity and acceptance. Whether or not it's a good time to invest in cryptocurrencies depends on your personal financial goals and risk tolerance. If you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies, it's important to do your research and stay informed. Keep an eye on the market trends and news and consider working with a financial advisor who has experience with cryptocurrencies. At the end of the day, cryptocurrencies are a high-risk investment. While they have the potential for significant growth, there is also the possibility of losing your entire investment. It's important to weigh the potential rewards against the risks before investing. That being said, if you're looking to get involved in the cryptocurrency market, there are a few things you can do to minimize your risk. First, invest only what you can afford to lose. Second, diversify your portfolio by investing in multiple cryptocurrencies. Finally, consider using a dollar cost averaging strategy, which involves investing a set amount of money at regular intervals rather than investing a lump sum all in once. In conclusion, the current state of cryptocurrencies is still uncertain, but there is a lot of potential for growth. Whether or not you decide to invest in cryptocurrencies is up to you, but it's important to understand the risks and do your research before jumping in. Remember, investing in cryptocurrencies is a high-risk, high-reward investment, so it's important to approach it with caution and a long-term investment strategy. Thanks for tuning into our video on the current state of cryptocurrencies. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Remember to do your research and stay informed before making any investment decisions. And if you do decide to invest in cryptocurrencies, be sure to approach it with caution and a long-term strategy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.